Greetings and welcome back to yet another episode of the Daily Run and today we're playing as Eve. So something very interesting happened today, even though this wasn't a particularly powerful daily, I wouldn't say it was a bad daily either, as in anyone who is adept to the game should be able to beat this at least somewhat consistently, just because you do have the tools needed, you're not super powerful, you just don't steamroll through the game, but still you're strong enough that you are able to deal with some good dodges and some good placement shots, you can do quite some nice things with it. But for some reason early on when I got hit a few times, I started kind of blaming the game, and not really blaming in a sense, oh you know, the game is screwing over but just that it's not giving me the tools I need in order to succeed and I think that's a trap that a lot of people fall into and not just with Isaac just with anything in general whenever you're doing badly and maybe either you're start you're blaming the game for it or maybe whatever you're doing you maybe you're feeling like you're getting unlucky and that feeling of you getting unlucky and helpless actually culminates and it makes you feel even more unlucky. Basically what I'm saying, you start to notice the negatives a lot more than the positives. And because that happens, then you have a negative impression of the game, which also means that you justify your bad plays. So in my case, uh, I actually took Diplopia very early on and I kind of stuck with it for the whole run in hopes of getting a, a, a nice bonus, maybe when I get to boss rush or maybe from one of the devil deals. But sadly what happened, no, I didn't really get any devil deals that had any items in them, except the first floor which had the nail, but obviously I can't duplicate the nail, there's no reason f for me to do so. Um, so w when I started maybe getting the fourth or the fifth floor, I was like, okay, I'm holding to this Diplopia trying to make an epic play, but... It's not, I'm not getting any devil deals like I would usually get, maybe on average, I would get at least one devil deal that contains some items in it that I could diplopia. Um, but like for some reason, I just felt like I had to keep it. And I'm not really sure why that stemmed or maybe why I even bought diplopia on the first floor, because I don't think it, diplopia is a particularly good item at all. And I think in regular circumstances, I wouldn't buy it. But for some reason on this lately, I was just so concerned about it that I really felt like I need to get my value out of it so I was kind of afraid to leave it behind and well obviously that would be a good play because in this floor we get the unicorn stamp and unicorn stamp is just a great item for dailies in general especially if you can get an orbital because that means that you can essentially clear rooms for free without having to get worried about anything damaging you um, but but yeah, you know, it doesn't matter if I did stick with it, if I didn't stick with it, I just did, made the decisions I made, but what's not okay is that I then kind of blamed the game for it. I was really focusing on those devil deals, and the fact that I went through four or five floors without getting them just made me kind of tilted in the sense that I was kind of blaming the game, you know, I, I'm not being very strong right now, and you're screwing me over further that I made this play and you're not just giving me the tools I need in order to make this play happen. And not just the play, of course, the run was very weak overall. And I think the most infuriating thing when you're playing as Eve is getting an HP upgrade and then picking up the heart which puts you out of the Curse of Babylon state and that severely decreases your DPS. So when that happened, I also, you know, the, the, the feelings of helpfulness started culminating and I started feeling like maybe there's no salvation for me and even though like I said it wasn't a bad run at all but just me perceiving myself as being unlucky and then reaffirming my feelings whenever something bad happened even when noticing things that maybe aren't particularly unlucky um, I still felt like they were and then you start you don't focus on the positives anymore and then the things just spiral out of control and you're just stuck in this bad situation which it's hard to escape from until maybe you get a bit of rest and maybe you approach it the next day. And I think the bad idea here was just going to this daily and the first time I got hit I was like okay I'm maybe not feeling as focused as I would usually and for some reason I felt like that gave me the permission to play badly. And I know I could have played better because it's not like I'm super tired or anything, I, I, nothing bad happened in my life that... I have the reason to be. Of course, some days are just gonna be naturally worse than others, but the fact that I uh, blamed the game for it is not a healthy attitude to have, just not in this game, in not just, I think, in general. I'm not just obviously referring to this game when I say that. I'm referring to any activity you might do. And whenever you're doing badly, I feel there is an external reason for it. And oftentimes that reason is coming from within yourself, just because you perceive yourself as unlucky then you will start to focus on the negatives and of course because you do that you don't, you miss out on the positives and then maybe you don't see the objective picture and of course because we're all human that's bound to happen sometimes to us uh, but it's in our best interest it, if you want to be consistent and good at the games we really want to 
get over that and just maybe take a few minutes to relax and start saying okay I know how to do this because I've done it many times before and I should just focus on that and of course you see me getting two very odd rooms here and I did shoot a bit badly and the fact that the enemies teleport around did kind of mess me up in my dodging and I did manage to die on the womb one which hasn't happened in a very very long time so of course the score is bad just because I died amidst boss rush nothing particularly good happened. Of course, if I did go back to this daily in practice mode, I'm pretty sure that I could catch Boss Rush and finish the run at least, um, because it wasn't a bad daily, like I said, it was just a culmination of me feeling like the game is coming over, and when it wasn't really, I, I, I have to be honest, there wasn't anything that bad on the daily, it was just the fact that I focused too much on one particular thing, I was trying to pull out one particular play and didn't work out and there's nothing wrong with that, it's just that I shouldn't have had this attitude about the game. And of course that led me to losing very early on and that's just how life is sometimes. Hopefully this has been, uh, you, you see yourself in this at least and you understand where I'm coming from and maybe take this as an educational video more than a Isaac video because there is no good play in this video, I can surely tell you about any strategies that went on. Uh, but hopefully, because we've had a good streak, we'll have another good daily tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.